You hate ticks, and I hate ticks, right? But we want to be in the woods, we want to be in the yard, we want to be doing things. So today, I want to share with you some of my tips for keeping ticks off of you, but keeping you still in the world doing things. Ready? Here we go. Garden fork. Making things, making food. If I can do it, you can do it. Who is this? So, I love to be in the woods. So do the knuckleheads. Do your dogs do this? But how do we be safe? Because ticks, well, aren't the safest thing, are they? A lot of energy for a nine-year-old. But I want to keep ticks off of me. I want to go inside. I don't want to feel like there are things crawling up my arm or legs. You've had that, right? So, let's go for a walk in the woods. I'm actually violating a bunch of the rules right now that I'm going to give you, or tips, rules, is that the word? I'll give you a little hint. You let me know in the comments what I'm doing wrong right now. There she goes. This is the woods walk, by the way. I even wrote everything down this time. First thing first, ticks like mosquitoes are attracted to you because carbon dioxide, CO2. They detect carbon dioxide, they move toward it. Ticks actually are, kind of can barely see. So, don't breathe. No, but seriously, that's just kind of an interesting fact. So, if you're wondering about some sort of uh, tick repellent, um, I guess not breathing is the first thing. Hey! Come on! Come on! I think tip number one is try and isolate yourself from the ticks. This is my um, rock. I like to stand on this rock. Um, and I'm in the woods here and just kind of, well, the sun's right there. It looks kind of nice, is it? Right there, like that. You want to stay in the center of your trail rather than being walking through the edge of the trail. So instead of walking where everything's going to hit you, you could walk in the middle of the trail and you have less of a chance of them jumping on you because they are right here. I mean, I don't see any on these leaves here, but that's where ticks are. They're on the edge of a leaf, ready to go, boo, like that sound, onto you. So you, it's just kind of these common sense things we're gonna go through. Oh, and at the end, I'm gonna have a bonus tip that's out of left field. So stick around to the end of the video for the bonus tip. Some uh, baby woodpeckers just hatched and they're up in the tree here. There's a, there's a hollow one up here. They have their nest in, it's kind of cool. Are you excited about the tick I just caught? What do you do with a tick when you find it? Um, if I'm out in the woods, I find two small rocks and I crush them. If I'm inside, tape. We have tape in all the bedrooms, in the bathroom, and in the kitchen. You wrap these in tape, throw them out, goodbye tick. That was a tip right there, wasn't it? Tick tip. Stop filming, start walking. But I have a tick in my hand. I happen to have some tape in my pocket from Henry's bandage, so um, fold that over, tear that off, throw it out, goodbye tick. Thank you, Henry. One of the reasons I have yellow labs, besides I love them, is when a tick goes on them, I can see them. A little black dot moving across. Same goes for you. So instead of wearing what Eric usually wears, oh, it just tripped you know, the Eric Black outfit. Um, light colors work really well. And, important, long sleeve shirt, long sleeve pants. Yeah, it's a little hotter maybe. You can get the lightweight cotton ones because they're lighter in color. Light color, long sleeve, able to see them, able to keep them off. And take those long pants, tuck them into your socks. 
keep them from crawling up your leg, like just happened to me. I've got a couple more tips here and then our bonus one, so, but the next tip involves going in to the house. So you might be wondering what that is. Stick around. First, we've got to finish our walk. She's in the lead. Do you have any ticks on you? Because they're lighter in color, I could see if they have ticks. Spray your long pants and sleeves with this special spray. I'll link to the product I use in the show notes below. If all else fails, read directions. Important here. But spray your pants, no more ticks. Probably no more ticks. This helps, okay? That's, so let's, how official is that? Let's spray. Read the instructions on how to use this. This will last a while. All right, you're saying, oh, this is a chemical. It's a naturally occurring plant material that's used in natural gardening. I use it in my vegetable garden for insects. So don't freak out. I'll link below for this. This on your pants, fewer ticks. Light colored pants, long pants, like I should have been wearing in the beginning of the video, right? But this, you can see ticks crawl up this, tuck this into your socks, good to go. Ticks like to bite behind your ears, along your scalp, under your arms, the, can I do this? The back of your knees, I got a list here, between your legs and around your waist. I'm not gonna show you my waist, that's okay, right? <coughs> Tell me your tick prevention <coughs> tips in the comments <coughs> below. <coughs> I'll throw the ball. <coughs> Go! <coughs> That's the perfect segue to the bonus tip. Hot shower washes off ticks. Really, no, it really does. You get them off, you're good to go. Also, it wipes, it washes off all that bug spray that you just put on yourself, that deep stuff, yeah, mm, you know. So let's, let's continue this conversation and the next video should be appearing right here. Us talking about cool DIY stuff. I promise I won't be in the shower in the next video, but it's right there. Let's go. Ready?